Hey y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome to another Play With Me video. So you can see that this week is almost done. It is Sunday. And oh my god, y'all. I think from like Wednesday forward, it has just been absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I ended up having a weird day off this week. Um and not getting today off like I was supposed to. So today is Sunday morning. It is before work. I have about 40 minutes before I have to leave. And I have no idea if I'm going to be able to get this plan with me done in that amount of time. If not, I'll be back tonight. Uh, and it will be just a little bit darker. But that's okay. We'll get it. We'll get it done. So I'm going to try and be as fast as possible. I don't know if that'll work because I've never plan a plan with me solely for speed but uh I guess we'll find out I guess we will find out if that is possible for me or not and then we will I don't know go forward so I was setting up my tripod this morning and of course oh, you know trying to be fast so that I could get to this and with as much time as possible. I dropped one of the little, I don't even know what you call it, like the little screwy things that holds one of the joints together, the pieces together on my tripod. It fell under my desk and I cannot find it anywhere. It's like it disappeared into a black hole, which is ridiculous because obviously it's here somewhere. But I spent entirely too long looking for it. So I have this kit from Cinderella Paper this week. It's very pretty. I'm really looking forward to using it because I love this artwork. And I definitely am using this huge box because I love the big boxes. So we took out Christmas um, Monday because I had an impromptu half day and then we, we didn't get anywhere close to finish. And so now Christmas is just blah everywhere, all over my house, all over my life. And I love it when it's like organized Christmas, you know. But no, this is just like Christmas throughout. There's boxes everywhere, and I have my ornaments all over my coffee table, and of course they're breakable. So, I'm afraid my cats are going to kill them all. Like, just jump in the middle of the pile and break every last one of them. Which, they have been known to do crap like that. They're just super elegant creatures. I love them, but I think they're mission in life is to break as many of my possessions as possible. It's like they think if it is not for them or does not help them in their mission to get as many snuggles as possible because that's pretty much their mission in life then they don't they don't need it. So this week, my day off is going to be Thursday. My boss was out this last week, um, which is why I didn't have today off. His daughter was having surgery, and it was it was planned surgery. I just, honestly, I didn't. It's one of those things where it's like, it's planned so far in advance, and then you look up, and it's here, and you're like, oh my god, I didn't realize it was that week. Oh no, I've got to switch everything around. Yeah, that's what happened. Oh, I cannot get this straight. Come on, get it together. We only got 40 minutes today. So, you know, it is what it is. I, I should have realized it was this week. I should have put it in my planner. I had it in my work planner. I didn't have it in my home planner. But it made a big difference, of course, at 
my home life as well because, well, and I wouldn't have known this, but I, he and I right now are the only two at my work who can actually have keys and open the store and be there by ourselves because we've got a new guy. Sorry, y'all. I needed a water break. And, um, and he's great, but he's just new. And so, obviously, he can't be left alone. And he definitely can't. So pretty. He definitely can't, um, Oh, I can't even talk this week. It's like I'm so frustrated. I can't even talk. He definitely can't open or close the store. You know, I can't even leave him there for, for lunch breaks. So, instead, I've been working all the hours. 7 to 7, 7 to 7, 7 to 7. Which is fine. I mean, you do what you gotta do. I couldn't exactly expect him to skip his kid's surgery. That would have not worked. That's pretty. So, it's fine. I mean, there's, like I said, there's just, there's nothing else we could have done about it. And so, I don't even know what I was going to say. So I've been working 65 hours this last week. So a lot of the things I planned to do on the blog just did not get done. It's very frustrating. But it's fine. I mean, first of all, obviously, just the time wasn't there. You know, I spent so much time at work. And then on top of that and decide which boxes to use. On top of that, when I was home, I was just way too tired. I kept coming in here to work, and I'd be sitting at my computer, and I'd just fall asleep, just like at my keyboard. <laughs> I was like, just kidding. It was ridiculous. I was just so tired. And I mean... Not much I can do about that. It just is what it is this week. So hopefully this next week I can get back in the swing of things because I'm starting to get really frustrated, y'all, with the amount of stuff I'm not getting done. I am not the kind of person that does really well when I'm not being productive and I feel like I'm just letting things slide it really makes me very anxious and I'm working on it because apparently that's bad but that doesn't make it any easier I'm just trying to put down my stickers, full boxes. I'm obviously not going to be able to use all of them. I think... I don't know why this doesn't fit in these two boxes. That kind of bugs me. I think I'm going to use this one. Instead of the quote box. I don't hate the quote box. But it's very difficult to read. I'm just going to skip it. Okay, so 
I don't like how these are playing out, so I'm going to move them around just a little bit. So I was watching some Plan With Bees this week um, while I was trying to work. And I don't know. It's funny how different people have different planning styles. And I definitely want to do a flip through of this planner at the end of the year to see kind of like all the differences because there's definitely like you can tell a difference in kind of how I was when I started versus how I am now with my planning and also just how I like to do things is very different which is interesting I definitely use a lot more kits now because, well, I was trying very hard for a long time not to buy any. Because I knew once I did, it would just be like going down the rabbit hole. And I'd just be like, I want all the kits. And that's kind of what happened. And I bought way too many of them when they were on different sales. And so now I just have way too many of them. I don't need to keep buying them. So I'm trying to be good and not buy any more until I use up the ones I have. And we will see if that works or not. Okay, I don't know which one, but one of my cats, can you hear them? It's in the kitchen, and I think they're being destructive. Just a second, y'all. I yelled at the cat. We'll see if that helped. I don't want to get up and go in there. I don't have that much time. Ah. <laughs> so, I have this, this little dog, a little bit. Um, she's a Yorkie. If you've been over my blog, you've probably seen her. Or my Instagram, because she's adorable and I like to take pictures of her. Anyways, a little bit. I don't know if she thinks she's like in charge of everything or or what, but whenever I yell at the cats, she goes charging into the other room and like barks at them or chases them. And it's like she's my backup. She's like, Yeah, mom said get down. <laughs> oh, which I think is half hilarious and half really annoying. Because, you know, don't really want her biting at them. But at the other times, it can come in very handy if, like, I'm in the middle of something and my hands are tied and I can't actually go in the other room to yell at them. I can be like, Betty, go get your sister. And she will go get her sister. But that's the thing, you know, you can't ask her to do it half the time and then not ask her the other half the time. If it's something you're going to ask her to do, it's got to be okay for her to do all the time. So. They're still doing something, and I have no idea what they're doing. Probably something stupid, like moving their food bowl around. But it could be something destructive, like, um, we don't have a dishwasher, so a lot of times there'll be dishes in the sink, even if it's just a couple of them. But if one of them is dirty... Sometimes the cats will try to get them out of the sink, like... You haven't fed me in five years. I need to steal this dirty plate to eat off of. 
I'm going to try not to leave dirty dishes in the sink, but, you know, I'm going to have to go in there and beat her ass. I know it's my owner cat because I love her, but she's like, um, God, how old is she? She's like 12, 13. And so she's kind of got to the point of her life where she's just decided, I don't really care what anybody says. I'm just going to do what I want to do. And you can yell at her all you want. She doesn't care. She doesn't change. She doesn't backtrack. She will blatantly stare at you while she does whatever she wants. The pain in the rear is what she is. I've had her since she was a kitten. And I love her. I just wish she would go back to being a good cat. She was a good cat for many years before she decided to be a royal brat. I don't know about y'all. I firmly believe in once you have an animal, they are your animal. There's only a couple reasons that would be acceptable to have to get rid of a pet. You work through the issues because they they depend on you. You're you're their family. So I do not believe in getting rid of pets. But I'm about to go have to beat her butt. Because she's still doing whatever the hell she's doing. I only have 20 minutes, cat. I don't have time for this. So, like, when we were little, um, little, little, my parents had these two dachshunds before we were born. And, uh, or very shortly after I was born, maybe. I'm not 100% sure on the timeline. Because I'm pretty sure I named them. Because their names were French Fry and Nugget. And I've always heard the story told that we named French Fry and Nugget. But I don't see how. Because I know we had them before my brother was born. And we are only two years apart. And I don't think I would have been talking well enough at two to name a dog. But, I mean, it's not like French Fry or Nugget is a hard word to say. So maybe, I don't know. I have to ask my mom. But either way, the point of the story is, when my brother was born, Nugget decided that that was his baby. His baby. And he was going to protect his baby from all the evils in the world. And that was fine for a while. Um, but then Will got old enough to start having little play dates with all the little other babies. And uh, I guess Nugget did not like that and tried to bite one of the other babies that came over for a play date when they were close to my brother. He was like, this stranger is intruding in my house. I'm going to have to bite them. So... As heartbroken as my parents were, you can't have a dog that's going to bite a baby. So, biting babies, apparently, and I agree, is is one good reason you would have to get rid of a pet. Or if, like, you had a, a pet before you had a child, and they were allergic to the dog then. Like, and, I mean, you would have no way of knowing before you had the baby, because how would you know? But, I mean, really, other than that... And my parents didn't just take him to the pound. They found a nice home for him. But we were all sad. I hate how these overlap, but it's either that or don't put anything there. 
I don't like that idea. I like the glitter headers this week. Anyways, I got so off track, y'all. I was talking about watching this plan with bees, and there was a point to that. There was a reason I was telling that story. So the reason was that when I was watching these plan with bees, I was watching one of the girls. And I don't even remember who it was now. But that does, like, um, color blocking, where, like, with these kits, where it has four different colors. You do, like, a whole dark blue, a whole pink, a whole gray, a whole light blue day. And then she does it all like all to-do lists, all pictures, all little things. And it's kind of the same setup every week, you know? And uh, it just made me think about all the different planning styles for a minute. There's so many. It's so funny to think about. I typically plan the same way every week. I mean, you can see I, I scatter my full boxes and then I scatter my to-do list. And that's because I like to have my blog posts and my blog column in the middle of the day. And I do mine by section. So I try to put my my full boxes on sections where I know Hey, this day I won't be doing a lot of blogging or, um, oh no. I just ripped that sticker. Oh good. Or, you know, hey, this day I've got a full day of work, seven to seven. I know I'm not going to be doing much of anything that day, so I can put you know, a sticker up there because I'm basically going to go to work and then come home and go to bed. <laughs> and that's why I put the big penguin over here is because um, I'm working, I've been working 7 to 7 all week through Tuesday and then um, Thursday off and I'll probably have a half day on Wednesday. So... So that's why I put the big penguin down here, as opposed to up there. I like these glitter headers. I'm going to have a bunch left over, which is good, because I do use these colors a lot, so I'll be able to incorporate them in other things. I may have to cut this checklist down. I'm not sure yet, but I feel like it's not gonna fit over here completely. We will find out. Let's see what we got. Yep, so if I just cut one off, will that be enough? I think I'm going to have to take it over here, y'all. i got to get close since this is the light colored box. I think I could probably make it work though so I don't have to make this super short. 
My nails have held up pretty well for the last couple weeks. I was a little worried they wouldn't with just my job, you know. I'm handling things so often that I thought they would get too much of a beating, I guess. That's some big areas to fill still. Not want to participate. There we go. Okay. And those wrinkles out. There we go. Let's go ahead and do my sidebar while I'm at it. I know a lot of people only use the glitter headers or only use the regular headers. I knew I was going to have a lot of space to fill this week, so I decided to use both. <laughs> the only thing this kit doesn't have that I wanted was the three heart boxes, like the mini checklist hearts in the full box like these and so I mean I could just cut down a little standalone checklist it's fine it's just not quite what I wanted not quite what I wanted y'all I might be able to fit this one too a lot of stuff coming this week There we go. I mean, I'm going to have to cut off part of Sunday, but that's okay. I think that'll work just fine. The camera cut off while I was cutting that. It's like, y'all don't need to see how she cut Sunday. <laughs> and you really don't, but you know. Yeah, no. Flags this way, but then you won't be able to see that little guy. We'll, we'll see. I think it'll work. I got I had an extra post on Sunday. I left a little space. Not gonna fit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull one in the quarter boxes. It's okay. The colors will go better anyways. Let's do the silver one. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's 
couple little things here. Take up some space. And that's probably what I'm going to do this night. Anyways, just watch TV because after like six days in a row of nothing but seven to sevens, my brain will be tired, y'all. There we go. to put here but I'll figure it out so I'm pretty much done obviously I've got three or four big spots left um, but I really don't know what I'm gonna be doing this week yet so it seems kind of silly to kind of fill them in until I know what I'm going to be doing, if that makes any sense. So, in the interest of time, I only have five minutes left anyways, I may call this done for the week and then just fill these in as I get to those days. I like how it's turning out so far though, it's very wintry. Very Christmassy. I like Christmas kits. This is very wintry. Like this little penguin is so cute. I wish this whole polar bear's face was like in the shot. Like move his butt back a little. I want to see his face. But it's okay. You know. It'll be fine. So let's go ahead and fill this out real quick. And then I will be done. I'm so happy. I'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all. I am done. I added a couple special checklists for things that I really need to get done this week. I started working on my landing page finally this week, but it's still not done. Um, I got most of the images finished. I just need to get, like, my big header image done. And then I already have most of the description done on individual pages, but I need to move it over. And then I need to write a little bit of sales copy. So hopefully I'm at the point where it's really just like putting it all together and I can actually get it finished this Wednesday because this stupid landing page has taken like three weeks to finish. Yeah. And then I need to apply for some more sponsored posts, which I've applied for a couple, but not as many as I need to. So I've only got two spots left, which makes me happy. Um, I really like this kit. I love all the glitter. Of course, I am a glitter girl, and I love the colors. Gosh, that scared me. And that is my timer, saying that it is time for me to go to work. So perfect timing. And I will be back at the end of the week to show you guys what it looks like all filled out. Unless it's another week like this one, where... I didn't do half of it, but it's still Sunday, so I still have a chance. I still have a chance to, to finish. <laughs> uh, I really didn't miss it all that much. I still need to make this darn cat an appointment. I'll put that on Monday. Good call, y'all. Lily vet appointment. She went outside for a couple days it was very stressful she's not really an outside cat like the other one is typically if she goes outside she comes back in well she didn't come back for days and days I was really worried something happened to her but we couldn't find her anywhere when she came back she has sores on the backs of her little legs and I don't I don't like it I'm gonna have her looked at I just want to make sure they're not infected or anything so I need to I really need to make her an appointment for this week so all right, y'all, thanks for hanging out with me. This is going to be a shorter video than we're used to, but maybe that's a good thing. Like I said last week, I am trying to cut down on my time so that y'all don't have to watch an hour and a half of me talking, which is basically all I'm doing now. So I have to go to work. You have to go watch another video or do some more work or cook dinner. I don't know what you have to do, but probably one of the three. And I'll see you next week. Bye, y'all.